Hello everybody. I hope you're doing well. It's been a while since I've read you a story and I have a story for you today. It's called Helpful Thomas and it's about the Thomas little trains that go around and they made stories about it. So here's the story. But first, I hope you guys are all doing well and I hope you had a great Christmas and a lot of good things are happening. And uh, Marla and Sam and Parker and Gemma and Lucy and Chip are coming here. They're going to visit us in Arizona and they're going to be here for several weeks. So we hope to have a lot of fun with them. So anyway, a lot of fun things are happening. So I'd like to welcome Lily and Levi. They're up in Washington. And then Parker and Gemma and Lucy. And then in Puerto Rico, guess who we have there? We have Isaac and Elise and Caleb and Laura. And did I forget anybody? And Janae is in Puerto Rico too. And of course we have the Larsons. They don't, uh, they're getting a lot older now, but they're doing so many fun things and they live near us. And you guys all know Davis and Sarah and Jake. And they have some dogs, Snickers and Brookie. So anyway, let me go ahead and read this story. It's called Helpful Thomas. And it's about a train with wheels. Do you see all the wheels? How many wheels are there? Well, there's three on this side, and then there's probably three on the other side. That would be six. Six wheels. That would be five and one more. Can you do five and one more? Because it's three and then three more. Okay, well, let's start our fun little story. Oh, there's a picture of Thomas. And there's his friend. Thomas's whistle is broken. He must get it fixed. Thomas, however, is a little bit worried. He's never been to a mechanic before. And a mechanic is somebody who fixes um, engines and vehicles and trains a little bit like a doctor helps fix people. But a mechanic would be the one who would know all about fixing Thomas. And you know, Papa likes to be a mechanic. I fix a lot of things. So I guess you could say Papa is a mechanic. So here's the story. So Thomas chugs towards the repair shed to meet with the mechanic. Around the bend, Piercy has run off his track. Thomas helps pull Piercy back into position. There's Piercy. And look, he went in the wrong way somehow. And look, he's on a little side thing that got broken. And there's Thomas. And he's going to pull him back onto the regular train tracks. So Thomas is being really nice. He's heading for the mechanic and the repair shop. But he's a little bit scared of that. And he saw Piercy, so he went to help Piercy. And that was nice of Thomas. Up. Oh. Ahead sits Bertie. He's overheating. Thomas offers some water to Bernie so he can refill his radiator. Uh-oh, there's Bertie. And look, steam is coming out. He was getting too hot. So Thomas came by and gave him some of his water so they could cool down and get going again. Once again, that was really nice of Thomas. He's trying to get to the mechanic, but he keeps finding things he can help with. Is Thomas being helpful? I think Thomas is being very helpful. He's helping Bertie and Piercy. Up oh, as Thomas passes the docks, he sees Salty, Harvey, and Cranky hard at work. Thomas helps move the dockside cars until all the freight is unloaded. So there's some of his friends and they're working at the dock getting everything moved and it's got to be moved. And there is 
Thomas. He comes in and he tries to help with all the things that are going on at the dock to help him get all done. Do you think they appreciated the help? You bet they did. So Thomas is still trying to get to his uh, mechanic so he can get his whistle fixed. He's got a problem. Can you whistle? Well, his whistle's not working too good, and that can be a problem. And he needs to get it fixed. But he keeps finding people and trains to help. And that's what he's doing. Oh, my. At Gordon's Hill, Henry struggles with a heavy train. Thomas helps push, and Henry reaches the top. So here's Henry. Look at that hill he's going up. Do you see that big, 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 big hill? He's trying to get up that big hill. And guess what? Look at all that. Look at Thomas. Can you see Thomas? He saw. Henry was having problems, so he started pushing. Push, 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 push. And Henry got up to the top of the hill. Do you think Henry was happy? Yeah, that is quite a hill. Have you ever seen a hill like that? And there's Thomas. He's always willing to help. But his whistle is still broken. Oh, Thomas whistles as he passes the quarry. The troublesome trucks chuckle at the sound. It didn't sound like a real whistle. Thomas had almost forgotten his whistle needs to be fixed. Now he's starting to worry again. He's a little bit scared to go into the mechanic. And there is the troublesome truck. And he heard Thomas try to do a whistle, but it didn't sound like a whistle. <gasps> That's not a whistle. And Thomas's truck, Thomas's train is not whistling. And they even have a little picture of it. Do you see the whistle is not whistling? That's where the whistler is, and it's not whistling. <gasps> Harold hovers above. Harold is a helicopter. Do you see the helicopter up here? Harold is way up high in a helicopter. There's a broken bridge, he calls. Thomas hurries to get supplies and workers over to the bridge. So Harold saw that the bridge was broken. And there's Thomas. And he hooked up a boxcar, sort of like a pickup truck. And everybody's getting loaded so they can run over to the bridge with the right equipment to fix it. <gasps> At the bridge, Harold lowers wood towards a worker. There's Harold. And do you see all the wood? <gasps> but look, there's a worker underneath it. Do you see the worker underneath all this wood that the helicopter is holding up? Uh-oh. Harold lowers wood towards a worker who doesn't see it coming. Oh, no. Thomas's whistle, he tries to whistle. It's not loud enough. And the man doesn't see it coming, but then he looks up just in time and gets out of the way. Luckily, he was okay. He might have been hurt because Thomas hasn't gotten his whistle fixed. Thomas thinks, I've got to get my whistle fixed. I almost helped get somebody hurt. I was trying to whistle and get their attention, but I couldn't whistle. So, Thomas heads straight now to the repair place. And the mechanic is there, and Thomas says, will this hurt? There's Thomas, and he's talking to the mechanic. And there's another mechanic. Up, oh, and there's their whistle. And he says, is this going to hurt? And the mechanic said, it didn't hurt. Your whistle is already fixed, and you are going to have a great whistler. And right then, Thomas blew his whistle. <whistles> now the whistle works. Now the whistle works. And now Thomas can help people, but he can also protect them because he can make a loud whistle that goes far away and helps people to know what's going on. Then Thomas was talking to Percy. They were back in their little houses. And Thomas said, I shouldn't have been afraid of getting my whistle fixed. 
The mechanic was only going to help, just like you helped me and all our other friends, said Piercy. So it's okay to help people, but you got to keep yourself in good shape too. Helping others is important, said Sir Tomham Hatt. There's Sir Tomham Hatt. And he said, helping people is important. And it's also important to take good care of yourself. And sometimes it doesn't hurt a bit. So that's our little story about Thomas the Train. And it's called, called Helpful Thomas. I hope you enjoyed that. Remember, I love you. And I hope you're having a great day. And wherever you are, I hope you have a great day. And you can watch this more than once. You can just keep watching this little story. Remember the big hill? And you remember the pile of wood that almost fell on a person, but they looked up. But Thomas needed to get his whistle fixed, and he was a little bit scared. But he kept finding other good things to do, but he also needed to take care of himself. And how you take care of yourself is you eat good, and you sleep good, and you exercise. And those are things that help you have your whistle working good. Well, I want you to know one thing. Are you ready? I love you so much. <laughs> have a good day. Bye-bye. Love you.